Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. Now, this is going to be one of those videos where I know some of you or most of you will already know how to do this. So it's probably not going to be for you. But if you do watch it and watch it all the way through, thank you very much. So there is still new people coming to this game, playing this game. It's a question that I do see pop up every now and then on some of the Facebook groups that I'm on. And I've actually had a couple of people comment on my videos asking me how to remove bushes and weeds, etc. So it's also mainly aimed at console players because PC players can use mo uh, mods, I think, or there's certain mowers that they can use that will mow the grass and as they go over these bushes and weeds it just gets rid of them as well as far as I know there is no mower on console on mod hub that will do this and I've tried several mowers I've even tried mowers that state on the mod hub description that it will remove bushes and weeds but it doesn't so I'm guessing that is mainly aimed at and worded towards PC players so I'm on console I don't play on PC so I don't really know that side of it but I've tried several mowers like I say and you can't do it so the question is how do we remove bushes and weeds on console so you have two options really I've left the help menu on so that we can see both the options are in the landscaping mode so if we scroll over to landscaping now I'm on no man's land because there is a ton of weeds and bushes on this map as you can see so we'll just for instance take this bush here now I've got it on the dome brush whatever you want to call it Obviously you can switch over to square, but I prefer it to be on the dome one. And you can obviously increase the size. So what I try and like to do is get roughly over the bush. So you're pretty much covering it all. And if you look at the help menu on the left, um, don't worry about the numbers that are on there because they're coming up because I've got my side panel plugged in. So about halfway down, I'm on PlayStation, so it's a little green triangle for me, but I think on Xbox that will be the Y button. But it says smooth next to it. So all you want to do is get over your bush that you want to get rid of. So roughly like that. And then just tap that smooth button. You haven't got to hold it down, just tap it. Bam, it's gone. Yes, it does leave the ground like that, that texture, but it's not a problem. I don't think the grass grows back if you do it like that but you know you can do whatever you want with that and obviously you can go down to a smaller dome size but I find it a little bit more fiddly so I'm having to keep tapping and moving as I'm going to get rid of and it's basically at the end of the day going to end up with the same sort of amount of area cleared like so but you get the message now the next method in landscaping mode is if we switch over to painting now for this I prefer to go on the square uh, brush if you want to call it that and increase it and then you want to scroll along down the bottom till you get to your grass texture obviously depending on what map you're on as well then just again go over to the bushes that you want to get rid of and just on the help menu there on the left it's x for me but it says paint next to it you just want to tap that again and that gets rid of those bushes and it paints that grass down there now most maps this grass will grow back so you can mow it and it will grow back so that's pretty cool as well and if you are feeling really brave you can hold down the paint button and move around and it will just absolutely blitz the bushes but you need to be very careful of that because there is no undo button on this landscaping so you might accidentally go into areas you don't really want painted and ruin it so just be warned 
but as you can see we've turned that area into a lovely grass area if I come out of landscaping as you can see a lovely grass there so that's your two methods of and ways of getting rid of bushes and weeds on console so I hope someone has found this useful if you have please give us a like and if you haven't subscribed yet then please do and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.